Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Talent Presents Ravens Roundup. Again, we're in week nine. And again, coming off this big victory versus the New, New England Patriots. Uh, decided to take a look at Mark Ingram and his uh, splash runs. He had three nice runs against the Patriots. And again, with them focusing on Lamar, this allowed Mark Ingram to do his thing and, and cut up to the tune of, I think, 10, 10 carries, 115 yards. Or it was 15 carries for 115 yards. I think it was 15 carries for 115 yards. But I got his three biggest runs here, and let's see how, you know, um, Mark Ingram cut up the, the Patriots. Our first play was a stretch option play. I'll let this let this part run, and then we'll talk about it when we get the back view. It's 13-yard pickup. And from the back side, you're going to see him put – Record and in, in, in motion. Now, what's going to happen here is this is the pitch guy. This is the pitch guy. Because this is not the reason I call it a stretch option because in speed option, Lamar will come down here right now and pitch it. But they trying to get to the edge. Trying to get to the edge. Ricard's going to run right past this guy and then lead up on the next thing that show up. Lamar's going to pitch off this guy. And Ingram's going to end up having Ricard as a lead blocker, which clears the way for him to get this 13-yard game. See with him straight with him widening out, that makes it you know makes it actually helps the play because Ricard is not going to touch him. As, if he keeps widening out, Lamar will keep the ball. So until he decides to take Lamar, that's when he'll pitch it. And you'll see after maybe a, a split second until he decides, I better stop Lamar, right there. And now you see Ingram Ingram's in route to getting the ball. It's pitched out to Ingram, and he has a lead blocker. Orlando sealed this. Yonder sealed this, and we got to play. Got to play. Got to make an attack from the backside. And that's because they they were so focused on Lamar. Just watch the end. Watch the end. He sees Lamar going out. I better stretch this. I better stretch it. I better stretch it. Now I got to stop him from running because he's a good runner. Now that opens away. That clear lane. Clear lane, clear path. Now, I think we ran this play twice in the game. We just happened to get 13 yards on this one. All right, this next play. It's called Wham. And, well, I think it's Wham. Other people, you know, higher levels of football may think it's something different, but I think it's Wham. It's sort of like a trap. It's going to induce that, that linebacker to come down. And it could be ISO, too, from the way it's, it's, the way it's drawn up. could be Wham or it could be ISO. But let's take a look at what's going to happen. She's going to bring Hurst in the backfield. And, basically, they're going to have, like, isolate solo blocks. Boy is going to come across and lead on high tower. I think this high tower. I think that's their linebacker's name. He's going to come across. Bam, right there. Ingram's going to hit it right behind him. So you get a double right here to this backside backer. You got doubles here. You got Ricard. She probably should be blocking this dude, and the double team should be from there to there. And so it really looks like ISO. You like an ISO. Bam, hit it right off of it. So I got Wham on the paper, but let, let's call it ISO. Let's call it like a backside ISO. Because Wham is Wham is is when you kind of trap the D lineman. So let's call this ISO. Right there. Now I think I think Stanley should have just blocked this guy out. Because I think it may have been some miscommunication on this guy. I think Stanley should have blocked this guy. Hurst should have laid off on this guy. And there it is. Look at the hole. Right there. Look at the hole right there. And I know I got the small mouse today. I forgot to change it. Sorry, got to deal with it today. Sorry. But look at that nice hole to run through. To the tune of 14 yards. Anytime DB is tackling um, Mark Ingram, that, that's a plus for us. It's a plus for us. Now, right, to the big run. This is the big 53-yard run. And um, this is the last play I'm going to show you on Ingram. You know, don't want to keep you too long. But it's, it's outside zone. Bring ball in motion. Bring him back. Stretch left. Great cut block by um, Orlando in the off to the races. Off to the races. See it from the back view. 
Bring in motion. Send him back. Now from here, Orlando's gonna get a cut block here. Boyle's basically just trying to seal off this backside so nobody from the backside can make the tackle. That's all he's trying to do. The main blocks are coming from these four guys. Coming from these four guys because he's cutting it off and Boyle's going with them to try to help cut it off also. So basically he's replacing Zeus. That's what Boyle, the boy's replacing Zeus in this chain right here, five. Good cut by Zeus. Now, look at that. He, he can't hook him, so you got to drive him out. We would love to get a hook here, but we don't. We get a turn right here. Whichever one of these guys turn it, turn get the turn that guy, that's where the zone going to be. I mean, that's where the hole's going to be. Out of these four guys, whichever one get a turn block, and which is a scoop block, basically, that's where the hole's going to be. You see, we got a turn right there. He's he trying to cut it right off, but it's still going to pop right there because you got this good turn block. See, it popped right there. See, Ingram popped right where well, we got that good turn block. Who is that? Is that Skrull? Let's see who that is. That is Yonder. I should have known. That's Yonder. Yonder. Yonder gets the scoop block. Skrull cuts off the, the linebacker. Pop it right there. Now, the, the, the good qualities about a good back, you want speed, you want vision, you want power. So here, check out the vision. Check out the vision. Now, here comes the speed part. And we all know he got power. We all know he got power. So with that being said, uh, Mark Ingram ran off for uh, the tune of 115 yards. They decided not to, uh, well, they decided to focus on Lamar and they let Lamar, I mean, let Matt Ingram get off. So um, again, this is week uh, nine, Ravens roundup. Um, Coach Evans, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. And also, if you have a comment or something else you want to see, uh, trying to get to it, I may get another one in this week. But this is two for the week. I got one queued up. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to edit it or not. But, um, again, Mark Ingram, 115 yards, big boy, no little boy. Let's go.